I want to now look at how we fund projects before we start looking at um, the actual calculations. So you, you will fund a project um, typically um, from, from bank borrowing and from equity investment. You can use mezzanine finance and various things, but because of the, um, because of the credit crisis, and the cutback in availability of debt finance from banks, where the number of banks that would lend money for any sort of project, but uh, renewable energy specifically for our discussion, and the amount as a percentage of the project, the leverage, the loan to value, got lower, and the tenor, the length of term that they would lend over, got shorter, um, there was a huge shortage of capital for projects, not just renewable energy projects, a number of different industrial projects, but again, for our purposes, renewable energy and energy efficiency. So what, what has grown up in the last four or five years is a much larger market of what we can call broadly private equity funding, equity funds that provide um, finance for projects. So just so that you understand how a private equity uh, structure works, um, you would have a private equity fund manager Okay, and that private equity fund manager would manage a number of private equity funds. So um, it might manage three or four or five or eight of these blue funds, different types of funds. So there might be a wind fund, there might be a solar fund, there might be an energy efficiency fund, there might be a biomass fund um, within the energy space. Okay. How do they get the money for those funds? Well, the, the private equity firm, which they're mainly in London and New York, um, the, the private equity fund managers who are regulated by the SEC in New York or the FCA in London, they manage the money on behalf, they are called the general partner, they manage the, the limited liability partnerships, not usually companies, limited liability partnerships, hence the name. So the general partner will manage m the, the money on behalf of the limited partners and the limited partners are the investors and they can be public pension funds, superannuation funds, corporate pension funds, life insurance companies, high net worth individuals, family offices, sovereign wealth funds, university endowments, funds of funds, a whole range of companies that wish to deploy or entities that wish to deploy some of their capital into renewable energy, energy efficiency, low carbon projects because they seek to diversify their portfolio of capital across a whole range of opportunities. So bonds, equities, real estate, emerging markets and renewable energy, climate finance. So the fund manager, the general partner, might raise a £100 million fund, a £500 million fund from 10 or 15 or 20 different limited partners who each subscribe 10 million or 5 million or whatever it is. And that money all goes in. The, the, the general partner might inject some money themselves, but generally it's a very small amount. And the general partner, the, the private equity firm, will manage that individual fund and probably several funds, a biomass fund, a wind fund, a solar fund, a battery storage fund, a energy efficiency fund, whatever, will manage that fund each of those funds on behalf <coughs> of the limited partners, who may be different for each fund, will be different for each fund. And that fund, say a hundred million pounds fund, will then make investments in specific projects. Okay? And those projects might range from two to five to ten million pounds per project. A small fund would typically be uh, investing two, three, four, five million pounds per project. A larger fund might be investing five to ten million pounds per project. The project itself, the capex, the capital cost of the project might be 10 or 15 or 20 million and the rest of the finance would come from other investors, co-investors as they're called, or from banks or sometimes from the developer of the project themselves. Usually the developer has a fairly small amount that they will invest. So that's a method of funding. Um, another method, that, and a very important one in renewable energy and energy efficiency. Um, another method of funding because of the banking situation is mezzanine capital, mez capital as it's called, which comes in two forms, um, which are not mutually exclusive, subordinated debt and preferred equity. So where your traditional financing structure um, going back maybe six or seven years ago might have looked like you have a, a £10 million project, and this is the same in the US and everywhere in the world, you have a £10 million project. 
um, you might have funded something like that, say 2.5 million might have been equity and 7.5 million might have been debt. So the leverage ratio would be 75%, the loan to value would be 75%. Uh, now, because of the, the, the banking situation, the bank might only lend 60%, so 6 million. The equity investors might only have 2.5 million still. So you would have 1.5 million missing, and that 1.5 million would be provided by mezzanine investors. And that mezzanine would be a combination of sub-debt, junior debt as it's called, and preferred equity. So what that means is the subordinated debt is subordinated to the senior lender. So that in the event of the default of the company, the first uh, call on the assets after the receiver and the tax man, the first call on the assets, on the, the wind turbines or whatever, or the the housing or the, the pubs, you know, it could be in any business, um, is going to be the, the, the senior bank, the bank which has lent the senior debt, or the consortium of banks which have lent, lent the senior debt, they get the first <coughs> call on the assets. If there are any assets left in the liquidation, then the subordinated debt holder gets their next call on that. So they are subordinated, they're the junior debt lender to the senior lender. Consequently, their capital will cost more because they have more risk in the event of an insolvency. Then the next call on the capital will be the preferred equity. So the preferred equity investors, if there's any money left after the, the senior debt and the subordinated debt, the preferred equity investors will get their money back and after that only the shareholders. So although this is a way to get finance for projects given the current banking situation that you couldn't otherwise get, it exposes the shareholders to a much greater risk that in the event of an insolvent winding up of the company, they lose all their money. So that's what uh, mezzanine um, debt or mezzanine <coughs> capital is. Uh, 